Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell from Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 12th, 2018. Well, hey everyone, I apologize if there's a bit of a sound or a video quality problem. I'm doing this from the Las Vegas Money Show, and we're going to take a look here really quick at the markets. I'm going to probably keep this video shorter than normal just because I'm working from a hotel Wi-Fi. So if you take a look at the diamonds here, we had a about a 200 point pullback in the Dow on Friday. And as you can see, there are some um, a little bit of concern here about the resistance in the chart. It's not terrible, but we want to be a little bit careful of this resistance level right here. And any, any additional pullback um, would not be a big surprise. However, we also have the possibility that we could catch some support could catch some support right in here and begin a rally off of there. So watch that close today. Um, now one of the things that we have to pay attention to today is the fact that uh, currency markets are closed today as well as bond markets. So with this being a governmental holiday and um, the majority of banks and big institutions will be closed. We'll want to watch the market really, really closely. There's a high probability that uh, even if we get um, a good morning open, which right now, by the way, is, is looking toward kind of a flat open, uh, if we get a good morning open uh, based on earnings or anything that's going on today, we'll want to be really watchful of volume to drop off dramatically as the morning goes on. We get past that morning rush just simply because there may not be much opportunity uh, for volume to push um, any any stocks uh, much higher or lower. Just going to be kind of most likely a choppy, quiet day. So kind of keep that in mind. So hey, if this is the first time you guys have seen this video, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook, and then also click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I truly, truly do appreciate that. Also stick around. I do have a couple of chart ideas for your watch list. Uh, to pay attention to at the end of the video. Let's take a real quick look at the SPY. SPY also in a similar situation, you know, um, struggling here with this level of resistance we pulled back on Friday. And I really wouldn't be all that surprised to see it pull back down into here um, to fill this gap here in the market. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, I, I'm not sure that we're going to have enough energy in the market to do much of anything today to tell you the truth, but um, we'll want to keep an eye on that potential of that pullback. So let's watch that closely. If we take a look at the cues, now the cues may have the better chance of getting some action here today. There was some big news out of uh, Alibaba and um, Baba being a big player in the NASDAQ. <clears throat> we could see some movement here just based on some of the good news. Uh, just a, a record number of sales um, in their singles promotion that they do every year. So kind of keep an eye on the queues here. We may have an opportunity. And what's interesting here is the queues has pulled back and actually is testing this level of support. So even if we get just a little bit of rest and hold right in here, that could be a bullish sign overall for the market and we'll want to pay attention to that. Again, watch these resistance levels. We have a lot of technical damage to recover from. Um, but if we stay focused, focused on price action, price will always lead the way and um, avoid trading our bias. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM <clears throat> pulled back nicely here on Friday and is, is showing a little bit higher this morning, as you can see. Uh, just a tiny little bit higher this morning. Watch this level right in here. This pullback, um, if you notice, you could easily draw uh, an inverted head and shoulders pattern on here. A couple three days rest right in here. Uh, we could have a really nice inverted head and shoulders and actually see a good rally 
uh, be produced out of IWM, assuming it can hold on to this level of support. So watch that close. This level of resistance, of course, is also something we have to pay attention to. Hey, on the um, economic calendar today, there is really nothing going on on the economic calendar today, uh, just with being a government holiday. However, we do have a Fed speaker at 2.30 p.m. today to uh, be made aware of. And on the earnings calendar today, we have, uh, well, we have a significant num number of earnings today uh, coming out. Over 150 companies reporting earnings, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, and that could be one of the silver linings, I guess, to, to make the market move today. So pay attention to that as we move forward. So, hey, um, let's take a look at a couple stocks here, guys. Uh, TRI. TRI has been setting up here, and as you can see, TRI, nice trend, popped up nicely here the other day, and now is consolidating right across the level of support. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Earnings aren't until 2.14, so we've got plenty of time here um, on this chart. Now, don't be surprised also that this, if this consolidates over toward its trend before it moves, but very nice, very nice chart. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more on the defensive side of things, take a look at some of the utilities. They're looking pretty good here recently, and um, SO is looking particularly good, moving up nicely here. As you can see, um, SO has moved through and uh, broken above this level of resistance, holding up here nicely, and um, our trend looks pretty decent here. So kind of keep an eye on SO. That may be an opportunity uh, for everyone to trade. I've been kind of keeping an eye on some of the retail stocks, and you can see um, Dollar General looking pretty good here. DG um, has been in a nice trend, getting a little pullback here on Friday. We'll want to watch that. FireEye also looking pretty good here with its pullback. Now remember this could pull back or consolidate all the way over to its trend. So this is one for the list. It's not necessarily one to jump on right now um, in the chart. So with that everyone there's a few few things for you to look at and pay attention to. Um, and uh, hopefully um, everyone has a great day of trading. I'll be really busy here in, in uh, Las Vegas so I won't be around in the trading room today uh, or providing any probably any additional um, information throughout the day but if um, you guys have any questions or, or whatever please uh, make sure drop a comment drop a comment um, um, hopefully uh, um, I will be able to um, do this uh, for the next several days here in Las Vegas. So everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I wish you great profits. And we'll talk to you all very, very soon, bright and early Tuesday morning. Take care, everyone.